Are the rumors true? Are Harry and Meg really set to make a cameo in the Kardashian reality TV universe? Well, only time, I suppose, will tell, but that doesn't mean we can't have an opinion about the possibility now. Mine is nuanced. I have never seen even one episode of any show featuring a Kardashian. This is about to change because Kim Kardashian features in the new season of American Horror Story, which is a show I heartily enjoy, and a reviewer whose taste I trust vouches that Kim is seriously good in it. Enough said, it's on my list. Meantime, let it be known that previously, the only few seconds I have ever seen of a Kardashian in a television show is a short clip of Kim Kardashian holding up an x-ray to prove that she didn't have butt implants. It was in this brief moment that I realized I was seriously uninterested in the Kardashians. What I have come to know about the Kardashians, almost through osmosis in the years since, has served only to strengthen my conclusion that the acquisition-based lifestyles of the Kardashians, filled with vast swaths of beige furniture and a cacophony of vocal fries, would bore me to death and cause me enough irritation to appreciate violence. This is not to say there is nothing admirable about the Kardashians. Quite the contrary. This family has found its audience, however I am not among it, and upon it skillfully built a two billion dollar empire. Do, do we need to remark upon the hard work and focus it takes to build a two billion dollar empire? I admire the hell out of the Kardashians' savvy and industry and commitment to their brand. It is no wonder then that Meghan Markle, who has spent the better part of five years trying to create her own brand and failing at every turn, would turn to the Kardashians for a lesson or two on how to. The problem is, I have not a shadow of a ghost of a doubt, that Meghan is not turning to the Kardashians to learn a damned thing. The Kardashians may be looking for a Sussex walk-on ratings boost, but so is Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle, late of the most famous family in the world, who once upon a time generously gifted her a glittering worldwide platform from which to operate, has apparently, allegedly, hit the point in her quest for continued celebrity and riches and relevance in her post-royal life that she is leaning on the Kardashians for credibility. Imagine this, if you will. The Prince and Princess of Wales coming to the Kardashians as supplicants. I rest my case. If you like what we're doing here at The Authentic, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave us a comment, which makes the algorithm very happy. Thank you for watching.